So hold on to your boots and uh, today I'm gonna be answering the all time most talked about question. Do you need expensive gear, hardware or whatever you want to call it for sim racing to win races? And the quick answer is no. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like button and <laughs> we'll meet in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just uh, talk you through really quickly uh, what is going on, why the F I have so many... Uh, is it many? I have a lot of podiums here as you can see. I don't know, is it a lot, is it not? Okay, I'm really really sure that you could get a better uh, lap times for sure nothing I can tell about that but uh, the most biggest thing I think are the ratings that you have so here we have track competence you can see what <laughs> what tracks I really hate so okay this doesn't apply to anything so first and foremost the biggest thing that we are looking at is consistency um, that one should be really good really high I think uh, most of the races I have it really good some races are downers as you can see uh, for the last few races are uh, consistency wasn't a thing as the last races were yeah bad but most of the races are really good consistency is one of the biggest uh, factors whether, you, whether you're gonna get the podium or not uh, next one is car control so how much you overdrive uh, versus how much car control you had in a race and how much laps you did so pace purely it's on special events it doesn't count for anything uh, safety safety is a big one uh, of course trust factor um, and and on all all these OBWP uh, rating and how much kilometers you did. Um, so here we are, racing, 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 and uh, yeah, the red bar indicates uh, how big uh, the contact was on the on the race versus how much of the time you did cleanly, and thus your rating just applies so from here on out it is what I currently have so racecraft it's versus as you can see um, while you are racing clean respecting other drivers and obeying rules have priority of uh, fighting for positions uh, yeah if if you gain a position that ha uh, on a driver that has a better racecraft you will gain racecraft and my total rating is 9200 so uh, it's not bad it's not bad um, but it could be higher and big old question can you be good as you can see uh, I'm not hardcore on all of the things at all I'm not uh, one thing I'm paying uh, attention is consistency car control and and safety race racecraft will improve if you're improving all of these three so uh, if your consistency is um, above 90 I think you should be above 80 about 90 I think if it's above 90 you should just be automatically uh, fighting for at least top five positions and that's just the way it is and it will be uh, another thing is how fast can you lap the the, the circuit? Uh, it's also of course, but a uh, yeah, my setup is driving force GT Logitech uh, wheel with two pedals, nothing fancy, nothing uh, that you can modulate or uh, really mod. Uh, it's simple, but I can easily feel when I am. Uh, going down the hill or up the hill when the grip level changes for the tires it's all good it's really easy as you can see right now 
I'm winning those races, I'm winning them easily if I stay consistent yet again. Stay uh, on a track, have your uh, track competence. The game will tell you if you're comfortable with the track, for sure. Uh, consistency, get your consistency up. This is not something you want to see. Car control, of course. And all of these ratings that I have, you can get, this would be easily somewhere 80, I think. 75, 80 uh, competition if I would be attending the competition servers. It would be much higher. Can you win races? Yes, you can win every, each and every one of the race. If you're just gonna focus on qualifying, if you're just gonna focus on a race and uh, on a bit of a uh, uh, teaspoon of luck teaspoon of luck so here we go on my settings for the Logitech Driving Force GT so specific game settings as you can see nothing almost nothing I haven't changed anything global device settings everything is on 100 and allow game to adjust settings that is it that is all you need so here we have allow game to adjust settings and everything is on 100 that is it nothing more what you need to do and you will be off as you can see first place second place third place fourth place third place what, whatever uh, you will you will just win races if you're um, just applying a little bit of uh, focus and skill uh, what you have learned and, and that that's it you don't need anything special you don't have to be special you just have to focus a little bit more than just usual so you will be I think golden for most of the races and uh, it is still a good wheel you can feel um, force feedback really good it uh, worked right out of the bat when I uh, plugged it in um, and uh, mapped it and it just worked and uh, there's nothing wrong with it uh, it's still it's now in my hands it's been five years and it's uh, doing just great uh, every sim racing game has been working and you can still uh, kick ass with uh, driving force GT wheel so thank you so much for watching I hope this helped uh, there's nothing special with my setup um, and I, I hope uh, you will win more races just keep on grinding and you uh, your gear doesn't matter at all how good you can uh, do on a racetrack how good your qualifying can be just do your thing um, stay on a track stay safe and stay consistent and you will win so thank you so much for watching and goodbye